Hello to all. Welcome back to my channel. So class second we use state syllabus. Multiple choice questions. This is the section number 6. Chapter A. Function overloading and member functions. So first let me know about what is a function overloading. So fun function overloading means two or more functions have the same name but differ in their number of arguments or data type of arguments. So therefore it is said to be a function overloading. So that in this the chapter it has the number of the multiple questions are there. The first question is that function cannot be overloaded when function cannot be overloaded when options are function names are same second option number of parameters are different third option number of parameters are same option d that types of parameters are different so here already i told that the definition is that the function overloading means the two or more functions have the same name but differ in their the number of arguments and also the data type of the arguments here the function the first option a function names are same that is so this is not the correct answer option b number of parameters are different this is also the not the correct option so option number D, data types of parameters are different. So this is not a correct answer for this question. The correct answer will become number of parameters are same. When the number of parameters are same, the function cannot be overloaded. So the number of parameters are same is the correct answer. Next question is function overloading has. Options are two or more functions with the same name. Option B, different number of arguments. Option C, different types of arguments. Option D, all of these. Already I told the definitions of a new function overloading. So function overloading has a two or more functions with the same name. They differ in the number of arguments and differ in the types of arguments. So that the correct option is that option number B. All of these. All of these option is the correct answer for this question function overloading has third question each function in a set of overloaded functions must have the options are same argument list option b same return type option c different argument list option d different return type so correct answer is option number c different argument list so each functions in a set of overloaded functions must have different argument list in their function so that this is the correct answer for this the question uh, question number four function overloading implements one options are polymorphism option b dynamic data binding option c inheritance option d encapsulation so correct answer will become polymorphism so polymorphism which means that ability to treat more than one form this is a definition of a polymorphism so here there are two different types of polymorphism one is called function overloading second is called the operator overloading so function overloading it implements polymorphism object oriented concept so that the correct answer will become option a polymorphism next question dash is a short function where compiler replaces a function call with the body of a function so options are internal function options b member function option c friend function option d inline function so the correct answer will become inline function because inline function is a short function the compiler replaces a function call with the body of the function so that the correct option will become option d inline function next question 
a function name that has several definitions with respect to number of arguments and types of arguments is known as what so options are option a member function overloading option b function overloading option c operator overloading option d data overloading so correct option will become function overloading because the function overloading means that two or more functions have the same name but differ in the number of argument list and their data types so therefore the function should be overloaded a function name that has a several definitions with respect to the number of arguments and types of arguments so that we can call it as the function overloading next question function overloading which is also called as what options are runtime polymorphism option b function polymorphism option c compile time polymorphism option d inline polymorphism so correct answer will become compile time polymorphism because the function overloading that is this operations will be carried out at any compile time so that is the correct answer will become compile time polymorphism the main factor in the function overloading is the function argument list the c++ it can distinguish overloaded functions by the number and type of arguments if there are two functions having the same name and different types of any arguments or different number of any arguments then the function is overloading it is invoked automatically by the compiler so that function overloading which is also called as compile time polymorphism next question is overloading is also known as what options are runtime polymorphism option b functional polymorphism option c compile time polymorphism option d is a the stone layer polymorphism so already i told that so last questions that is the correct answer will become compile time polymorphism next question friend function can be defined as dash options are inside a class option b independently option c in other class option d in the friend class so here the friend function is a non member function that is friend of a class the friend function is declared within a class with the prefix friend but it should be defined outside the class like a normal function without the prefix friend so that it can access public data members like an non member function so that the friend function is declared within a class only so that the correct answer will become option a inside the class next question friend function is a option a member function option b inline function option c non member function option d all of the above so already i told the definition of a friend function a friend function is a non member function that is a friend of a class the friend function is declared within a class with a prefixed friend keyword so that the friend function is a non member function so that the correct answer will become option c non member function so thank you if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos thank you so much